you must be wondering why there is mexican music in the background that's because today we are binging on delicious mexican street food in navi mumbai yes you heard it right mexican street food in navi mumbai it's going to be a wonderful food experience exploding with flavors colors and fresh ingredients you don't want to miss any of it stay with me right till the end as i am taking you on a trip that's going to reveal it all binging monkey hola amigos i'm tj your fellow foodie i'm at kargar navi mumbai el tacos and i'm all set to go for my mexican treat let's go so i picked this uh, cozy spot for myself right by the window so i could enjoy the rains while i'm eating keeping mexico's culture in mind the decor of the entire place is very vibrant pleasing and cozy amor which means love and well what's not to love about mexican food the perfect mix of spice sourness and sweetness it wraps up all flavor profiles and here we have a beautiful wall art of frida kahlo she was a famous mexican painter and we can see the space where people have given their heartfelt comments about el tacos the rains outside has definitely tempted me to go for some sweet corn so since i'm here i'm going for elote corn with their mexican twist glow torch is lit and my corn is charred house made chipotle sauce lime cilantro and drizzle of endless flavors of house made sauces so here comes my elote corn So, uh, Sujay, could you tell me what are these different uh, sauces that gonna go along with my corn? First one is the salsa mache. Salsa mache. The second one is the habanero salsa. Habanero salsa. Okay. And the third one is the salsa roja. Salsa roja. Okay. And the fourth one is the salsa verde. Salsa verde. Salsa verde. 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 Salsa verde. Verde. Okay. Ghost pepper. Ghost pepper. Yeah. So, do you like? Are they going to be all spicy? Yeah. All of them. This one too spicy. The last one. This one is more yeah. spicy. That's why it's called ghost pepper. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you for giving me all the information. I'm going to go for my first bite on this colorful looking corn. Wow! Explosion, explosion of flavors. You know, I want to try them with these uh, different Mexican sauces. So I'll go with the salsa mache first. Wow. That's the salsa habanero I think. I think I'm going to try the green one just by itself. I'm going to try the ghost pepper sauce. Oh. No doubt it's called ghost pepper. You can feel it in your nose. You can feel like a thump in your throat. Yeah, I don't think you should it's good but you shouldn't be trying it all by itself. It is ghost indeed. This was much needed right after that. This sweet corn is so warm, juicy, and I think it was a perfect choice to order this thing. And yeah, I I feel if you ever come to this spot, 
with whatever other dishes you all order, make sure you all go for this. I just got done relishing my elote corn, and next I'm ordered for a Texas style burrito bowl. With goodness of fresh and flavorful ingredients, I'm sure each bite of this burrito in a bowl is going to be like a party in my mouth. So yeah, here is my gorgeous looking burrito bowl. You know, it has uh, rice, uh, it has spice and you know, there's so much that goes into this. So I can all, I can just say that it's so nice and that's the beauty about Mexican food. Every, every ingredient just tells you a different story. I'm literally falling out of words right now. Like they are, there's like a fusion burst in my mouth of amazing flavors. You know when we are having the burrito, it's easy to spot the rice and your beans and everything but since I've ordered for the bowl, I'm literally like digging right now so I can get to the rice and beans. Oh yeah, I think I got some. I'm so glad I have managed to get everything that's in a bowl onto my spoon right now. Look at this. It's got everything that a gorgeous and tasty looking burrito bowl should have. My tummy feels super satisfied after finishing my burrito bowl. But you know what? Mexican meal is not complete without having tacos. So yes, I have ordered for soft shell tacos. One for a wedge one and a chicken one. Chicken would, would be El Paso and wedge one is chili relleno. Some like their tacos crunchy, but I love the soft corn tortillas, the classic Mexican way. Because it isn't just about eating, it is the feel, taste and flavor that you sense after taking your first bite. I feel so lucky right now that I have the chef of El Tacos who's going to make who's going to be making fresh guacamole right here. I can like I'm witnessing fresh guacamole being made for the first time. What an experience. Thank you, thank you so much, chef. This is the avocado which is from the Peru. Okay, this avocado is from okay. Peru. Okay. So we use the imported avocado as well because the taste is quite different than the Indian avocado. So this water content is less compared to the uh, Indian avocado. Okay. So it's more from a texture is completely different. Okay. So the water content is less here, sir. Yes, in the imported avocado. Okay. So that is and good for is making guacamole. Okay. It's, it's really different than when you use the imported house avocado. Okay. We use Indian avocados for the people because we also support our local farmers. Okay, yes, definitely. Uh, we don't yes. want to compromise with the quality. So, uh, our 80% produce is local. And 20% important. Okay. So this is avocado. Then we're gonna add some onion. Some finely chopped, chopped onions. onions. Then we're gonna add some garlic. 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 Jalapeno we go in India, jalapeno, habanero. Okay. Very rarely we get habanero, but uh, jalapeno <coughs> you can find in India. This is uh, sauce in Pune. Okay. So, uh, jalapeno sauce. And this is this is called morta heke. In Mexico they call it morta heke. Morta heke. Morta heke. Okay. So we call it morta and pestle. Yeah. Thank you. Because you mash the avocado with the jalapeno. Onion, 
Because as the tomato is a stone, this color is a wakam mm. So you can add, if you want, you can add some soft tomato. But it will discolor your wakam mode. If you want to use something uh, really fresh. Mm. <clears throat> I think you use the water and it's com- texture is completely different. Definitely, yes. So this you have got it from Mexico? Oh, you can find it here. I mean, yeah, our grandparents used to use for uh, making chutneys and this thing like old days. But yeah. Now you will use the blender the most. Much. Yeah, but I'm sure like grinding uh, your spices and everything in this gives a different texture and flavor. And get that aroma of lime getting mixed in that. Cilantro. Cilantro. It's very simple, man. Focus on the quality and the produce. Mm. So if your product produce is good, <laughs> definitely your the final product is good. So that's what you know, that's the beauty of food at times, just with few you ingredients know, like few the ingredients, the fresh ingredients. That is your <laughs> So these are all uh, different flavored. This one is charcoal, this one is beetroot, this one is salted one. This is beetroot? Yeah. And this is charcoal. Finish, okay. <clears throat> That's so beautiful. I think I'm going to try this guacamole with my tacos also that yeah. I ordered. But yeah, Chef, since you made this right in front of my eyes, I think we should try one. Please try one with me. I think I'm going to go with the charcoal one. Cheers. Cheers. Wow. It's, that's only it's so refreshing. Yeah. You know how to use like, the tomatoes and we don't use It's not needed. I think it, it has lime. You don't you don't even don't need tomato. You don't need tomato. The whole and the avocado sauce blend is, of just the cilantro, your avocado uh, and lime and salt. With the Yes. It's perfect. Thank you, thank you so much. Ed. So here are my tacos and my guacamole. This is my veg soft shell taco. That is the chili reneo. And this is my el pasto, the chicken taco. And I have my salsa here. That's uh, basically your finely chopped tomato, onion and some Chilies, yeah. So I'm gonna squeeze some lime in this. And what I find interesting about this place, they have this, uh, <clears throat> they have put up a instruction thing over here, like how to eat your taco. So, yeah, let's follow that. So, place your pico de gallo on top of your taco filling. So, that's this. Then you fold your tortilla. This is my corn tortilla. Don't fold your tortilla to avoid dripping. Okay, I've done that. <clears throat> Don't forget to cheers. So yeah, I have an idea for that. I'm going to try doing that. With my veg. And my chicken tortilla. Oh, this is going to be challenging, but yeah, 
let's try it out so don't forget to cheers when you share so yeah i'm doing cheers and i am going to be sharing this guys don't think that i'm going to be having this all by myself so let's go for the bite Hmm. Honestly, I didn't even drop anything. I was going to end my binging spree, but you know what? The chef surprised me with this beautiful drink. It's a uh, dragon fruit mojito. Honestly, experience with the tattoo. Experience was amazing. I have enjoyed the food, and I'll definitely I'll be coming back soon. <laughs> so. Give different cities for organizations. Okay. Like, of eighty percent producers local, just to support the local farmers and maidens, and twenty percent to the producers. Because uh, some of the products we don't find in India. Okay. Like the chilies, what we have here. Uh, this one is chipotle. Chipotle. So okay. Like our homemade chipotle sauce, like the, okay. all the mayonnaise and all this. This is chipotle. Then this is the chili wahio. Wahio, okay. Wahio, we use for the salsa. So have you tried like different salsa, like salsa birthday salsa? Yeah, yeah. Oha. The one I got with the corn. Okay. So yeah. this one, uh, for the salsa we use different chilies. Okay. This is the habanero. Okay. This one. This one is the ancho chili. Which one? Ancho. 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 A is ancho. Ancho. Oh, ancho. So ancho chili basically we use for the. Uh, Mole is the traditional sauce. Like in India, we have the curries. Like same in Mexico, they have the moles. Moles, yeah. Seven different moles. This looks similar like the curries. Okay. But and this one is pasilla. That's a huge yeah, chili. Yeah, that's right. It's a smoky chili. <laughs> this one, I'm sure, and this one you can smell. This is a little bit. Also, yeah, it's got a very strong smell. And this is the anacho seed. We don't use any food coloring. Okay. So we use the anacho seed. It's been how long uh, since El Taco is like you know has started? We started this concept we had in mind from last year. Okay. And actually, the place from last one and a half month which is. Started in July. So July 2020. July 2020 was the first operation. Okay. This was a long, interesting conversation where I learned Chef Sanket Patel's passion and knowledge about Mexican food. He understands the chemistry of perfect, balanced flavor combinations and knows to make his diners smile. We both agreed that there is a striking similarity between Mexican and Indian cuisine. For me, it was an absolute wonderful food experience at El Tacos. So guys, if you enjoyed watching today's video, do hit on the like button, do subscribe to our channel and do not forget to hit on the bell icon to stay notified for what's coming more and share it with your friends and family. Till then, keep binging, stay safe, take care.